Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this design right here. This is a really easy thing to do, um, but this is very popular retro style Christmas design. And what we did was just take a pre-existing design and make some alterations, additions, subtractions, you know, change it enough to make it your own, um, but real fast and easy um, thing to do. Um, we did use some stuff from Creative Fabrica. If you would like to learn how you can create the style of design yourself, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so here we are on Canva's home page. As always, I'm just gonna go ahead, hit custom size. I'm gonna select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. This will pull up a blank page for me where I can start my decorating. Um, I do like to decorate for black, so I'll just go ahead and just select that as my background color. Um, for this design, I'm gonna go into a really popular, really trendy uh, retro niche, especially for Christmas, so retro Christmas designs. Now for this, I do use a lot of graphics that I get from Creative Fabrica. Um, not that Canva doesn't have a ton of great graphics, but if I'm specifically going for sort of that retro style, Creative Fabrica really does have a lot that you can work with and a lot that you can sort of make your own. Um, and so for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you real quick. I'm gonna jump over to Creative Fabrica. And right here at the top, I'm just gonna go ahead and search Retro Christmas. Oops, Retro Christmas. And what you will see is a ton of different retro Christmas style designs. And so lots of these can be used and kind of repurposed, made your own, um, et cetera, et cetera. And so this is a very popular style right now. And so you can pretty much pick any one of these and sort of do what I'm gonna show you and remake it and make it your own. So let's just say I'm gonna pick this very first one right here. So I can click that and it's gonna open up. And so this particular package comes with all of these different designs. And so, you know, really easy to do. We can just select one of them here. So this one here says, have a cup of cheer. And it's definitely got those fun retro style, um, you know, characters. So let's say we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and just download this whole thing. So I can click download here and it will start to download all of this. Um, it will take a minute, but once it gets all downloaded, you would have to go to your um, download section on your computer. If I go to the top um, of my computer, um, there's a little thing that says downloads and I can click on that. It'll pull up recent downloads. And then from there, it's going to show lots of different folders for this. And so you're gonna have to go kind of folder by folder, um, look through the designs, pick the ones that you want, and then all you do is drag and drop them, oops, sale, into your download section, okay? So that is what you would do. You just sort of drag and drop everything outside of its folder into the download section of your computer. And from there, you can just jump right back over to your Canva page and you can upload them. So over on the left-hand side here, you will see um, a tab that says Uploads. You can click there. I can hit Upload Files. It will pull up your downloads again, and then you can upload everything that you just downloaded from Creative Fabrica. Uh, and so that's how you can get a lot of them there. So over here, these are a lot of the ones that I have recently downloaded from Creative Fabrica that I could now use in designs going forward. So the one that I particularly wanted to show you, I'm just gonna have to find it here, one sec. Okay, so here is uh, the one that I just um, showed you guys on Creative Fabrica. And this is actually the, the kind of whole package of those. So I can just select the one that I want here and I'm gonna go ahead and hide that. Now here you can see it doesn't really look good on a dark shirt. A lot of these are made for lighter color shirts. So what you can't even see here is it says have a cup of, and then it says cheer, but you really can't see that have a cup of right now. So let's go ahead and temporarily we'll change this background color. I still wanna keep it dark, but I'm gonna make it just a little bit lighter so you guys can see. So something like that. So what I wanna do here with this design is, is sort of make it my own. And so, Different things that you can do would be to delete part of the design, add parts to the design, 
An easy way to do that is with the, the text. So for example, where it says have a cup of, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that entirely. And instead of have a cup of cheer, I'm gonna put Christmas cheer in a cup. So I'm changing the words a little bit and I'm gonna change um, obviously the font a little bit. I'm gonna change the color so that this will all pop on a darker color shirt too. And so I can show you how we're gonna go ahead and do that. So just using a pre-existing design here, retro, very in style, I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna go to edit photo, and I'm gonna go ahead and just use my magic eraser. And so this is really easy here. And then all I have to do is sort of brush over the parts that I want to erase. So for this, what I'm getting rid of is this top area here where it says have a cup or have a cup of. And I'm gonna keep the rest the simpler you do it, the easier and faster this is, but there you go. So that should delete all of that. It takes a sec. Oops, there it is. And if you missed any spots that you can see, go ahead and just do a little touch up there. Perfect, and so that looks pretty good. So then I can just go ahead and hit this back button here. And so now I have the graphic, but without those words. So now I'm gonna add my own words. So I'm gonna hit a T on my keyboard, it'll pull up a text box. And the first word I'm gonna put is gonna be Christmas. And I'm gonna put Christmas up here, kind of where the other one was. Um, and so that I can see it, okay, cause it's a little bit dark. I'm just gonna go ahead and temporarily change that color to that sort of lighter color so I can see it. And then down here, I'm gonna pull up another text box and sort of do the same thing down here. Christmas cheer, and I'm gonna put in a cup. And so I'll do something like that. Let me move this a little higher on the page. And so this is what I'm gonna be working with. Now I wanna find some fonts that look like they work. Now, because this is a grunge style, so retro can be grunge or not grunge. So I can have the same design where it isn't grunge and it would still be retro really and right now it is grunge. So I just have to match my fonts as best as possible to the design. So I have to select the font that's gonna have a little bit of that grunge feel, but still have that retro feel. Um, so I am looking for more grunge, vintage style fonts. I did get a font off of Creative Fabrica that works really well um, for this particular design. And that font was a Super Vibes Rough. So I'm gonna put Super Vibes, and it'll show you right here, Super Vibes Rough. And that gave that nice sort of, I'm gonna do it for both here, rough look, but it was also very, um, very retro style. And I might even do these all in all caps too. So if I wanna put it in all caps, I can go up to the top where you see the big A and the little A. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make both of these all caps, make it easy there. And then I just need to kind of resize this so that it looks good. So let's say I did that. And then in a cup, let's say I go ahead and make that a little bit bigger here. So something like that. So that already looks pretty cool there. If I want it to look a little bit more like this, I can put that drop shadow on it. And so I might do that. And at this point I can also play with some of those colors too. Because this is actually made for a lighter colored shirt, um, it might be beneficial to do a darker text here so that I could use it on either a light or a dark shirt. And so with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and think I'm gonna try to match this green here. So what I can do is change my text color and it shows the green here and that might work a little bit. And then the bottom, I might go ahead and do that red color that was here. And I can always use my eyedropper too. And then let's go ahead and change the shirt color back to black really quick so I can see how that's gonna pop on a dark shirt. Now that looks pretty cool. Obviously this is gonna be a little bit hard to see on dark. What I can do is take this whole thing and lighten it though. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead, take that, edit photo, we can go to adjust. And for adjust, what I can do is I can either make it all brighter, so bring that brightness up a little bit, and that'll just brighten everything, but it kind of washes it out. So I'm not too sure I want to go that bright. 
so I can kind of go back to where it was. But let's say I wanted to maybe take the blacks and make the blacks a little bit lighter. So I can just take those blacks, make them a little lighter. That's gonna make those arms pop a little bit more, right? So I can do that a little bit. I can play with the whites. Again, I can make those whites whiter. I can make those whites darker. So you can sort of start playing with this here however you want. And so I don't wanna to go too far. Again, I can play with the saturation now if I wanna throw that saturation back a little bit because it got washed out a little bit. I can play there. I mean, I can really pump it up. I can really bring it down. So, you know, keep it somewhere in a good range there. I like that. Again, I can play with contrasting stuff too. So again, contrast, bringing that contrast up is gonna make those legs darker though. Bring that contrast down, it'll flatten everything out. So you may have to play around with all of these, but just by doing that, I now can see that I've got, you know, some legs on this dude. And then what I can do is again, match these colors. So this one, I would have to use the eyedropper feature because now that I've changed the colors and the design, I wanna make sure I still match it properly. So taking that and that and going ahead and matching it now. Good, and then if I wanted to go ahead and make it look the same here in terms of adding that shadow, I can go to effects on the text, I can add a shadow, I can go ahead now and pick a shadow color and I can again use my eyedropper feature to try to match that gray that is here so that they all match perfectly. I don't want any transparency. I'm gonna bring the offset down now. Right now it's a little bit tough for me to see. I can either zoom in that might make it a little easier or make the background a little bit lighter. So I can see if I pull that out, now I can start to see. And that looks nice, right? And I can play with the direction too so that it matches a little better. So something there looks good. And then I can do the same thing here with the shadow. Again, I'm selecting that same gray color, which is really that gray color there getting rid of the transparency and that looks pretty good i can see the offset there i can play with the direction again if i want it to be a little bit more off to the side like it is at the top um, and that looks pretty good oops and so now it's going to match a little bit better and if i was to throw that now on a white shirt for example you can see how that's gonna pop on the white shirt and you can have it pop on a dark shirt. If you don't wanna do black, let's say you know the black is just too dark, some of the heathers work really good. So if you want with maybe the heather blue or the heather gray, sometimes you can get those to pop a little bit better. Um, or you can just make it for a white shirt. You know, This might be one of those situations where a white shirt by itself might look good. I can also play with you know, the design itself. If I wanted to add any elements here, I could. If I wanted to use, for example, go over to uploads and use you know, any of the symbols that I got off of other designs, I could always crop some of these out. So for example, this one here, if I was to crop out all the words, I could just use the candy cane and put it in my design and then it would match perfectly. So if you're like, ooh, I don't know how to match the style, you can go ahead and just take some of these other ones here that already match the style. And I could edit photo, do my magic eraser, make that nice and big and get rid of literally everything but the candy canes and then I can use the candy canes in the design. And so that's how I could match styles. And so I can combine some of these designs, I can alter some of these designs, I can change the text or the words. So lots of ways to take what already exists and what's already a very popular style and then just sort of make it your own pretty quick and easy. Give this one second here, there. And then I wanna get rid of that one too. I just needed a smaller brush here to get rid of this one. Ta-da. And now I'm just gonna have just the candy canes and I can use those in the design and it will match pretty perfectly because it is the same style. So I can take this now and shrink it on down. If I crop it, it makes it a little bit easier to work with. 
can put this anywhere I want. So let's say I wanted to, you know, throw it here and move this this way a little bit. I mean, I can do it sort of however I want. And I can angle, play, play with the size. And so that's how you can sort of just sort of change it up and make it your own. And so lots of different fun ways that you can go about doing this. So really fast and easy. I mean, I could make this design in a couple of minutes. I sort of took my time to explain it to you, but that's how you can get some original designs pretty easily. Also, I think maybe the spacing here, that one might look better if I spaced it out just a tiny bit, those letters because I think they're really close together, let's say. There, that looks pretty good, I like that. Maybe I even want it to go a little bit bigger so it's more right to the edge of the letter there. That makes it a little bit easier to read. Once I have it the way I want it, by the way, don't worry if it's not centered in the page, I can now take this whole thing, highlight over everything so it's grouped together, and then I can move the entire thing wherever I want in the page. So I can bring it up to the top and then try to center it sort of from there. And so now that looks pretty good. So now this will work on a white shirt. It should also then go ahead and work if I put it on like, let's say a heather gray. It's not gonna necessarily pop there as much, but you know, um, one of the heathers might work. Uh, some of those light blue ones for like Christmassy kind of stuff. That's a little bit more teal, but I know Amazon has a light blue shirt that looks pretty good. Um, one that's a little bit more, Amazon's light blue shirt looks a little bit more like that color there. And so something like that would pop too. And so you can make it versatile. You can also just make different versions of it too. So make one for a light colored shirt and one for a dark colored shirt. If I really, really wanted it to pop on a black shirt, I could take the whole thing and just put a white outline around it. That's one way that I can get things to pop on darker colors. But again, super easy, super simple. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and just, sorry, title it and download it. So I'm gonna put Christmas cheer in a cup. And we'll just go ahead, hit download, make it a transparent background, and it is ready to go. By the way, this would also look good on a sticker too. So if it's gonna be a light background, things like stickers are gonna have a white background. Mugs usually sell well with a light background. So don't just think t-shirts either. So especially if you think it's not gonna look good maybe on a dark t-shirt, go ahead and think of other products where it might look good if there's a white background. Um, if you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing um, well with all of your sales, and I do hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.